A lot of different things people try when they're stressed out. You might try taking a nap. You might try hitting the nearest happy hour. <laughs> now there's a growing trend people are trying called float therapy that some believe provides similar results. Local 4's Everod Casame shows us how it all works. Some say it's similar to a massage or another type of spa service, and many of those who have tried it might disagree, though. Either way, people are looking at sensory deprivation as a way to disconnect from the real world, even if just for an hour. It's a way to relax, reduce stress and pain in zero gravity, completely deprived of all senses. It's called flotation therapy, and it's growing in popularity. Flotation therapy is basically there's a tub that's nine by five. It's a thousand pounds of Epsom salt dissolved into 10 inches of water. So when you get in, the water becomes, it makes you become buoyant, so you float effortlessly. David McCuller is the owner of Inception. It's a wellness center in Farmington Hills where customers can come to just float in this flotation room or in these large egg-shaped flotation pods. We want to help people to overcome uh, stressors. People like Anton Wisbisky. You just feel rejuvenated. You feel a lot more calm. Uh, you don't feel anxious. And for me personally, I, I feel energized. It's also heated to skin temperature, so 93.5. You lose a sense of where your where your body is and where the water is. Uh, laying back and then commence the floating. Golden State Warrior basketball star Steph Curry is one of many celebrities and athletes who are giving flotation therapy a try. I haven't had any athletes yet that have tried this, but I, I know it's a thing that's become more and more popular. Dr. Nick Moore practices sports medicine here in Metro Detroit and has even tested out flotation therapy himself. Would you recommend it? I wouldn't recommend against it, but I wouldn't necessarily you know, send someone to treat it. I, you know, I would more likely be trying to find sort of the pathology that's causing the pain and, and target that treatment. While athletes and many others insist flotation therapy is a remedy for their pain. I couldn't say with any degree of certainty that this float therapy is going to treat any specific injury. In fact, Dr. Moore notes that insurance won't cover it and more studies need to be done to prove its effectiveness from a medical standpoint. Still, he's not against it. If they think they get benefit from it, um, then I'm okay with them doing it as long as they understand the cost. Unlike medicine, there's little to no side effects. Even though science has yet to actually prove that it works, it's not stopping people from coming in regularly to disconnect. Once your body's relaxed, your mind can relax. So it's, it's pretty awesome. And there are a number of places to try flotation therapy here in Metro Detroit. The prices do vary. Doctors say that more testing, research, and peer reviews need to be done to prove its effectiveness. Everod Casimi, Local 4. Looks like it works to me. Not, but not really peaceful. my kind not of your thing, bag, but, but yeah, yeah. It looks there's a lot of stress right now. If you just, just spend a little time on social <laughs> so media, <true. laughs> there's a lot of stress. So true. <laughs>